Hey scientists, let's talk about electrical circuits and conductivity. But what is electricity? I mean, you use it every day, so what is it? And how does it work? Electricity is a form of energy resulting in charged particles. They can be naturally occurring, like static electricity, or they can be man-made and harnessed, like the electricity you use to charge your cell phone. Energy can either be discharged, like in lightning or when you turn on your TV, or it can be stored, like when you're charging your phone or a battery. Most of the electricity you use every day comes from power plants. Inside of the power plants, large generators or motors turn mechanical energy into electrical energy. The electrical charge of energy moves in currents. An object can either allow the current to travel through it, or they can prevent the current from moving through it. If a material allows the current of electricity or heat to travel through it, it's called a conductor. Conductors are generally made out of metals like silver, gold, copper, and steel, but they can also be other things like graphite, salt water, and acidic fruit juices. That's why you can use a lemon to create a battery for your phone, or you can use a potato to power a clock. Objects that prevent heat and electrical currents from moving through them are called insulators. These include rubber, oil, glass, and dry wood. To harness electricity, you can use conductors to create a one-way path for the current to flow through. And if you set it up in a loop, you'll be able to make what's called a circuit. A circuit is just a loop of conductors, usually wires, that allow electricity to power a device. Let's look at a really simple circuit. We have a charged battery full of electricity, and now we can use wires to move that electrical energy away from the battery to a device. We could use a light, a doorbell, a buzzer, or even a heater as our device, but let's use the light bulb. So we attach our device to the wire, and now we have to make a closed loop for the current to travel back to the battery. Now this circuit turns our light on, but you probably want to turn this light off again, so let's add a switch. The switch can either be closed, which means the loop is completed, or open, meaning that there's a gap in the current, which turns off our light. If you look at some electrical switches, you might notice a line for closed and a circle, or O, for open. Now we can open and close our circuit, and turn our light on and off. Let's pause and look at a question. 